The downside of putting an S&B cold air intake in your Jeep Gladiator. Who would have thought? Everybody, how are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. There is a downside to putting an S and B cold air intake in your Jeep Gladiator. You know, I never would have thought of this when I did it, and quite frankly, it's it's really a, a dumb reason, uh, but it is a reason. Um, first, and let me say that I do love the S and B cold air intake in, in my Gladiator. I mean, it sounds awesome, right? Gives it that nice little throaty grumble from under the hood when you get on it just a little bit. Even when you're just tooling down the road and tap the gas a little, you get a little bit of sound come from underneath that hood. And I love it. I think it's awesome. I would highly recommend it. But there is a downside to having the uh, S&B cold air intake. And I'm going to show you what it is. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. See if I can do this with one hand. I think so. You kind of have to push down a little bit on the hood. Yep, I thought I could. Let's see. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and pop this puppy open. There you go. Hopefully there's no critters or anything under here. You know, in a warm weather climate like where I live right now, the downside is if you leave the truck parked outside, and I do occasionally, um, the critters at night, if it gets cold, and it does get a little chilly here once in a great while, they start to look for some place to live, some place that's warm, right? So they'll crawl up underneath your engine and they'll nest in here. Have you ever seen uh, a mouse or a rat's nest inside of a filter, inside of a truck? I have, not pretty. Sometimes even the squirrels will get under there. And uh, snakes, can't stand the snakes. I've heard of that as well. But anyway, we've got this thing open. Let's take a look under here. Looks too, looks pretty good. It is a little dusty dirty. You can see some of the dust and stuff under there. Um, because of the environment, I guess, the pollen and stuff that we have here. Uh, but not too bad. Of course, I have the painted Jeep lettering as well as the 3.6 liter here. That's holding up really well. Um, I do love the color on there. That actually came out pretty darn good. I really like that. But back to the topic at hand, and that is the S&B cold air intake. Um, again, I love this thing, but one reason that I got it is because I wanted this clear lid, right? Because I wanted to be able to see the filter and the filter is, looks to be getting dirty. I do need to change that. I will tell you, they're not cheap. I think they're about 50 bucks or something like that for that filter. Um, but the lid, you can see maybe in the picture, the lid gets dirty. And if you're like me and you put this on so that you could actually see the filter there, of course, you'll notice that the lid gets dirty and that drives me nuts when I open it up because I like to have it clean. So what we're gonna do, I've got a uh, little bit of my magic cleaning solution over here, a couple of uh, fiber cloths or microfiber rags, whatever you wanna call them. Um, all I'm gonna do, and this is very simple, and I know this is pretty picky, right? But again, if you're like me, it's the way it is. Just spray a little bit of my concoction on here. Um, and this is just uh, about six drops of dishwashing soap in uh, whatever this is, 32 ounces. Yeah, 32 ounce bottle. And that's it, and it works very well. So we spray a little bit on there, and then let's clean this sucker off. And of course, now that I'm looking under here, I didn't realize it was as dirty as it is under here. Um, Wow, and you can see it does even suck some of the um, dirt in, which obviously it's supposed to do because we have dirt on the inside there. But should be able to just wipe that off uh, to clean that up a little bit. And then if I was really gonna be picky about it, I'd go ahead and pop the lid off and clean the inside. Um, I'm not gonna do that now because of course I am going to get a new filter for in there and uh, actually go ahead and replace it. That's when I'll clean the lid. Now, the other thing I really like about this, I mentioned you can see the filter, of course, right? Now, 
anytime you open the hood, and if you're like me, you open it frequently. I like to just look under here, see what's going on, you know, check the oil once in a while, stuff like that. Make sure my battery cables aren't corroded, you know, just the little things. But when you do that, you can easily see the filter and see if you need to clean it, right? Now, might cost you more money in the end because every time you see that it's dirty, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put a new one in. But nonetheless, uh, might give you a little bit of motivation to go ahead and keep this thing clean so that the truck is performing the best that it possibly can. Um, does have the same size, or actually a little bit bigger, I think, opening here to let more air in. That's awesome. Any, uh, any way we can get more air into that engine is a good thing. Um, I like that. You can see, oops, there goes my rags. You can see that it is dirty. I mean, look at that. It's kind of caked on there because it's pollen. We get a lot of pollen here, and I think that's primarily what it is. Some of it could be from the trip that we took up to Colorado. It was dusty up there when we were in the mountains. But um, nonetheless, love having it here. The only downside, I guess, is if you're a little uh, OCD like I am about things like that, uh, you're going to see it when you open the hood and you're going to want to clean it off. But I guess the, the good thing about it is, is it's just that simple, a uh, little bit of cleaning solution or just water and uh, a microfiber cloth and you are good to go. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you're as picky as I am. Do you ever go out? Pop your hood just to nose around in there, and then two hours later, find yourself with a dirty rag, uh, you know, from wiping it down. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma back there. Which, by the way, I have the same problem with, except I even have a bigger lid in that one. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for watching. And now I'm going to go ahead and wipe some of my uh, engine compartment down because as you saw, it's pretty dirty. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.